Um, Ah, oh, mate. I'll take that new three pepper Angus burger, please. <laughs> um, uh, Colin, this bloke wants a three pepper Angus burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flame grilled Aberdeen Angus beef, pepper cheese, crispy peppers, and creamy peppercorn sauce. The new three pepper Angus. Only Burger King takes it seriously. Something strange is happening at Hogwarts. It's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. After TV Burp. TV Verb. Explosion in Tipex Factory on EastEnders. That is what I know. So save your paws. Right? <laughs> Brown Force do Heather Mills place on mobile. <laughs> Not much left of <laughs> But he deserves a decent Christian burial. <laughs> and Jadine mistakes her face for a satchel on Wags Boutique. Pigment. <laughs> What's your favourite game show? This is no game show. There won't be some busty blonde outside ready to hug you so that you can sob into her bosoms. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's a game show, Sir Ellen. <laughs> that was a dream you had. <laughs> yes, it's The Apprentice! <laughs> so, let's meet a few of the contestants. When you can break bricks with your bare hands, you believe in your head you can do anything. <laughs> Then there was Jadine Johnson, who was pretty clear about where she was coming from. I like pressure. I love to work under pressure. And I know that life isn't always biscuits and sandwiches. <laughs> She's not just a hard-nosed businesswoman, but a talented songwriter, too. She wrote a potential customer a special birthday song. I'm going to sing a special birthday song for you, an Eclipse birthday song. How's that? One, two, three, four. It's Neha's birthday, <laughs> and Eclipse has come to stay hip, hip, hooray. Drink our coffee every day, and you will always sing hip, hip, hooray. It's Neha, it's Neha, you see her, it's Neha, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with happy birthday to you? <laughs> hey? She's written a special Eclipse Christmas song. Yeah, to rival We Wish You a Merry Christmas. I've got it here. Uh, it goes, um, it's Christmas Day, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. Drink that coffee every day, and you will always sing hip hip hooray. It's Neha, it's Neha, it's Neha. Can you see her? Yeah. That's a nice. Nice song, that. Uh, but I think the apprentice I was most impressed with was Andy Jackson. You see, he'd given up a lot to join the show. You know, I've got three young boys. Um, I've got a beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm really behind you, Andy. You deserve it. I'm leaving a job for this. I'm leaving a very, very well-paid, very hard-working job for this. I'm giving up everything to get this. This is a dream. This is what I deserve, though. I've worked so hard all my life that I deserve this chance. Yeah, Andy Jackson. There's a name to be reckoned with for the future. Andy, you're fired. <laughs> oh. still. still, back home to that lovely wife. <laughs> <clears throat> hasn't... <laughs> hasn't Rob Brydon let himself go, though, eh? I was watching the poker on the table. I like my poker. Of 
course not. <laughs> it's not Rob Brydon, it's the bill. And it seemed that it was wash day on the housing estate. You know those days where everyone does their washing at the same time? Wash day. <laughs> washing. <laughs> There's some washing, <laughs> washing. <laughs> washing. <laughs> washing. <laughs> yes, wash day. You can see why Reg might be getting fed up with life at Sun Hill. Sort of sums it all up, this, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it is. It's like doing the hokey pokey. Boys, I'm looking for Jimmy. We take him to court, he runs away from court. We take him back to court again, he runs away again. We take him into court, he runs away from court. Into court, away from court. In out, in out, shake it all about. We follow the guidelines of the Crown Prosecution Service and that's what it's all about. Oh, been on the bill. Oh, yeah, well, you get the idea with that. <laughs> Coronation Street now, and it seemed that Liz McDonald had been drinking the fairy liquid again and was blowing bubbles from somewhere you wouldn't expect. <laughs> she always used to blow too hard. <laughs> you had to understand that you, you had to be gentle. <laughs> How nice it was to listen to Rita and her old friend from the show, Doreen, reminisce about old times on stage. Rita and me rubbing along together, it'll be like old times. This isn't the dressing room of the Coconut Grove. There'll be no washing your tights in the sink here. Yeah, don't tell Rita, but I've managed to track down some of her old props from the Coconut Grove. <laughs> <laughs> there's the old pair of tights there. The, uh, oh, there's the silver top cane. Oh, and the lovely top hat there. Let's just try that. Mm, it's not a bad fit. <laughs> <laughs> dressing rooms weren't that glamorous, Norris. If you needed the loo, you had to go in the top hat. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Tracy Barlow court case loomed ever closer, and naturally Deirdre was in a bad mood, and to top it all, she couldn't light a cigarette. <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> then she took an instant dislike to Ken's new dressing gown and matching pyjamas. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ken. <laughs> like any soap character in trouble, Deirdre turned to the bottle. Well, she wanted to take the bottle, then realised it might look a bit bad and just took a glass. I didn't know he was going to wake up in your bed next. I'll take the bot the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Mobile now. The murder mystery about blowing up foam masts. I missed the first one, came in on the second one, having a clue what's going on. <laughs> but I wasn't the only one who seemed to be a bit confused by the plot. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Morris. I'm Morris. I'm little Morris, your grandson. Paul's son. Paul lost his son. That was me. I... I lost my son. Little Paul. <laughs> Little Paul's my son. <laughs> As I say, I came in on the second one, missed the first one. I can't help you, mate. All right. <laughs> what does it feel like to kill someone? I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bursting here. How long are you going to be? I remember what it feels like. <laughs> what, what feels like? <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> Which brings us to our best TV insult of the week from Life on Mars. Best TV insult of the week. You great, soft, sissy, girly, <laughs> Nancy, French, Bender, Man United supporting puff. Have you ever wondered what it'd be like if you had a dream that you were at a Nazi rally? <laughs> weird things at night. <laughs> of course not. It's Sleep Clinic, the day-to-day -day story of people who sleep funny. And the noises people make when they're asleep, though. 
Mm, they range from the chimpanzee... <laughs> ...to a full-blown pub sing-song. <laughs> ..to say I love you. No, this was poor Derek Rogers, who hasn't had a decent night's sleep for nine years. Join the club, Mush. <laughs> you see, Derek acts out his often violent dreams. <laughs> That's what I call a pillow fight. <laughs> but the main problem is, a lot of the time, he ends up falling out of bed. If you die out of bed in a split second... <laughs> Two-foot wide bed. <laughs> There's your wife in that big double. You're sleeping on a two-foot wide shelf. <laughs> Naturally, if you're asleep and you fall out of bed, every now and then you're going to get hurt. So you've got to be sensible about what you keep in your bedroom. <laughs> Who puts a two-foot vase there? <laughs> Imagine sharing a room with him. Depending on which direction I'm pointing, I either hit the wardrobe or I hit the transmission panel or. I... What you... What you... No! No, Derek! Not the dominoes! <laughs> Just get back on your shelf! <laughs> but which is better, Derek or his pillow? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. got more flavours than any other probiotic. No wonder Danone Actimel is Britain's favourite. Mm, Danone. Morning. Morning. Excuse me! Where's Mildred going? Car insurance. She goes to that internet cafe to get Swift covered. Swift covered? Well, tea breaks over in a few minutes. With swiftcover.com, you could get a car insurance quote in less than 60 seconds. Swift cover by name, swift cover by nature, eh? And you could save up to £346. <laughs> Now I know why the chicken crossed the road. <sighs> For a swift way to save on car insurance, go to swiftcover.com. that works in sync with you. Sure. At Comet, we're committed to guiding you through the sometimes confusing world of electricals and trained to help you find the product that's exactly right for you. Then we can deliver it, install it, get you up and running and take away your old product and all the packaging to be recycled. Comet. We live electricals. Travelsupermarket.com compares the rates of over 100,000 hotels, over 50 car hire companies and millions of flights, comparing quotes from online travel agents, tour operators and budget and charter airlines. Cool. We need to fly to Barcelona. As soon as possible. Travelsupermarket.com compares the market in seconds, making it easy for you to choose the best deal. Travelsupermarket.com, the price comparison site. Want more from your long-wearing foundation? How about up to 16 silky hours? New Superstay Silky Foundation from Maybelline, New York. Our two-in-one breakthrough combines a silky feel with stay-true makeup. It simply blends together in just one step. 
for our silkiest, most flawless perfection. Superstay Silky. Is this long wear beyond compare? New Superstay Silky, up to 16 silky hours. Maybe she's part of it. Maybe it's Maybelline. You can get more out of b and this spring. Save a third off all premium select kitchens. Oh, beautiful. Plus, save a third off all our luxurious select bathroom suites. Hurry to B&Q and get bags more savings this spring. Strawberries and chocolate and less than 3% fat. New Special K Bliss. Join me in these needy stars, Alec Baldwin, Amanda Holden, Tim Allen and Engelbert Humperdinck for another dose of TLE tender loving Edna. Oh. <laughs> She's lovely. The Dame Edna Treatment. Tonight, 5 to 10, ITV1. Welcome back to TV Burp. Angry fetus on interior rivalry. I'm not happy. <laughs> Window goat on Emmerdale. You have got the wrong end of the <laughs> And big celebrity turnout for Elton John's 60th birthday bash. <laughs> Elton John and David Furnish, Anton Dick, David Guest, Danny Baker, David Williams, Michael Bolton, take that, and Mick Hutnell. <laughs> the Royals back. And there was a woman who didn't seem to understand how jars work. You are Mr. Heaton. A small souvenir of your stay with us. Ah, yeah, he's big, isn't it? Good news. How did it get in there? <laughs> you rotate the top like that. That hole in the top, that's what he put stuff in. <laughs> in a break with tradition, this week, the royal took us to Biafra. Yeah, and you're probably like me, you thought, Biafra, buzzy in, Pete Tong, manumission, but that's Ibiza. <laughs> yeah. Now, in Biafra, there was a war on. But it being the 60s, the music was still important. One of the casualties appeared to be a clarinet player who still thought he was playing the clarinet. Hold it there, hold it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking of war, on Real Extras, the story of our supporting artists hungry for fame, we were transported back to the killing fields of the Middle East, and it was really quite chilling. Keep your hands up. I surrender, I surrender. What are you doing here? I'm an unarmed man. You came to ruin my country. I promise I won't cause you no harm. I lie. <laughs> Almost as if you were there. <laughs> if ever someone comes up to you and attempts to glorify war, show them that. <laughs> and perhaps if Tony Blair had seen it, things might have turned out very different. Whatever happened to Meryl Streep? <laughs> Still busy at Christmas. <laughs> Theirs wasn't the only talent on show. There was Stephen, who was putting together a showreel. Just call him Mr Versatility. He acts... OK, punk. Stick him up. <laughs> 45 Magdal, the most powerful handgun in the world. Blow your head clean off. <laughs> it's as if Clint Eastwood's in the room. <laughs> and he can sing. You raise me up so I can stand on my <laughs> You raise me up <laughs> more than I can be. Now, again, a difficult song to sing if there's no musical backup or no microphone. <laughs> Yeah. Also, if you can't sing. <laughs> what other skills has he got? Come on! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, you have to wonder about some of the acting ability when they can't even spit out their own chewing gum. Um, I don't need any music. Can we go your chewing gum for us, please? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Forget it, I'll just leave it there. 
Okay. <laughs> the other thing you can do <laughs> is copy your heroes. And me, I like the action heroes. Uh, yeah. Actors like Jane, uh, Jane, um... Uh, Jane Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Jane Claude Van Damme, yeah. Yeah. And, um... My other favourite, uh, Fester. Uh, Fester, um... Fester Sloan. Jane Claude Van Damme and Fester Stallone. That's right. yeah. I think it's... <laughs> Born survivor Bear Grylls now off Channel 4, in which SAS man Bear Grylls puts himself in harsh conditions and tries to survive it on just the basics. If you find yourself in the water, you'll need to know how to survive. I'll be in the same situation as anyone who gets in trouble at sea without a life jacket. All I have is a knife, a knife the clothes I've got on, clothes, and a camera crew. And a camera crew. <laughs> yeah, just the basics. <laughs> This week, he washed himself up on a desert island, and your first job is to build a fire. By creating enough friction between the wooden handle and the groove, you can work up a coal that can then be used to light a coconut tinder bundle. <laughs> coconut tinder bundle. That's one of Bob Gildoff's kids, isn't it? <laughs> coconut tinder bundle, the dinner's ready. Your next job is to find something to drink. It's a long way up, but try coconut. Coconuts may be a lifesaver in this castaway situation, but they're also killers. People die every year from coconuts falling on their heads, and an average-sized nut weighing two pounds can hit the ground with a force of one metric ton. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was lucky, they're killers. It's a long way up for a coconut and a painful way back down. But coming down these trees is much harder and more painful than you might think. <laughs> Isn't it annoying? when you mistake your hearing aid for your false teeth. <laughs> yes, it's EastEnders. And sometimes I feel sorry for the kids on the square. Well, they're bound to pick up bad habits, especially poor little Ben Mitchell. Living above the pub, he's bound to have seen all sorts. <laughs> You haven't quite got the hang of that, have you, Ben? <laughs> the love triangle between Stacey, Max and Tanya rumbled on, but Stacey was in for a surprise. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they are never present danger the coconuts. <laughs> Which brings us to our most inappropriate excitement as seeing a bath of the week. Most inappropriate excitement as seeing a bath of the week. Come and have a look at this. <laughs> yep, go in there. Oh, Check out! Oh, I can't believe it! <laughs> <laughs> It was nice to see Penny Lancaster and Mira Sayal swelling the cast of Casualty this week. <laughs> no, we could just sit and drink coffee like we normally do. <laughs> and it's odd, isn't it, how it takes a little while to notice that your bandage is too tight. Granny! What are you doing in here? Oh, my darling! Quick, grab this lovely white bandage. Oh, that's a doll, aren't we? <laughs> Elsewhere on casualty. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it was raining men. <laughs> Hallelujah, raining men. <laughs> Amen. 
nice to put that into a poem, wouldn't it? Someone <laughs> falling on your head. BP's dropping fast. There was nothing I could do. She just came down, like, out of the blue. <laughs> and I was intrigued by another potential star in the making. Mrs. Percy, her radiator's singing again. <laughs> Mrs. Percy's radiator. Well, as you may have gathered, it was Sir Elton John's 60th birthday this week. Give him a peanut! Right. <laughs> and we thought we'd like to contribute <laughs> to the wave of goodwill that's sweeping the country by paying our own special tribute. So, ladies and gentlemen, singing Elton John and Kiki D said, Don't go breaking my heart, it's Stephen from Real Extras and Mrs. Percy's Radiator! <laughs> I gave you my heart. Oh, 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 oh. Gave you my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. Happy birthday, Elton. See you next week. Next on ICV1. Terrible things are about to happen at Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not stay here now that history is to repeat itself. You mean this has happened before? <gasps> I shouldn't have said that. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is next. Daily Elements. Now available in bath and shower. Radox Know How. For a great choice in used automobiles. So much get Carcraft. The hardest deals on the meanest wheels. Big choice, think Carcraft. With up to 1,500 cars on display. You can be Carcraft. In under an hour, you can drive one away. It's so quick, get Carcraft. And right now, there's just £99 deposit and five years 0% interest on our ultimate range. Yes, that's £99 deposit and five years 0% interest. So much choice at Carcraft. What a beauty. Mmm. <laughs> Madison's hot and spicy smoked pork sausage. <laughs> thought I'd be in a beauty ad. But look at me now. Get the confidence to reveal more of yourself with beautifully tanned skin. Dove Summer Glow Body Lotion, enriched with extra intensive moisture. I think it's the most natural tan I've ever had. Dove Summer Glow Body Lotion, good for your skin, great for your look. And now voted self-tanning product of the year. 